So now in act two of our show, poor Johnny just wants to study. But we've got this Japanese teacher tossing sushi in everyone's mouths. And Brad is having the time of his life. Okay? Here's where we get to the most interesting and, and the most challenging, often, part of creating an episode of a TV show. And that would be when we have to resolve the problem we've created, right? We've made a mess. We've got a teacher who we hoped would help our sweet character, and instead, he's making things worse. How do we get ourselves out of this conundrum? So if Brad looks at his party that he has set up, he can't believe there's a teacher here who's throwing sushi in the air and making a mess. Brad looks across the room and he sees his, his uh, friend who is going like this, just trying to study, but he can't. And so I think a nice way to start the third act would be for Brad to realize his mistake and end the party, kick everyone out. Anyone have any ideas for a more interesting way to end the party than to just say, party's over? Oh, Brad, fake said the sushi is bad. This is good. And then he goes, oh my god, who ate the sushi? And he puts it in a garbage can, and everybody else starts feeling sick. This is good. They have to leave. I love it. Did you kill her? I did not. 
That was pretty good. I like that one. That did great. So I know we touched on it a little bit. Oh, my name is Sharice, by the way, Sharice. Um, how do you handle rejection? <laughs> Same question. Still figuring it out. Um, to be honest, um, I, especially with auditions, I don't let myself care about it until I have a shot. So the job for me is the audition. Like, that's just part of what I do. I don't, some of my friends will like, get an audition and be like, oh my god, this is mine. Like, I'm, I'm gonna book this. I never do that. I can't do that. I, I never look at something and be like, this could be me. Um, until afterwards, if I get a call back. Because then I know there's like a possibility and that they see me in that role and then that makes me excited. And then when I get excited, it hurts to be rejected. <laughs> um, but... And you use that for your next crying scene. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> um, the main thing with rejection and the main like kind of ideology I've adapted is that one door closes and another opens. So I remember there was a show <coughs> on NBC. It was a comedy. And it had two of my favorite actors in it. And I was so close to booking it. I was 15 and I was so close. Um, and I, they flew me to LA and I did screen tests and it was wild. Um, and then they came out and they were like, yeah, it's not you. And I was like, great. And I cried for three days straight and I was devastated. And then three weeks later I booked Degrassi, which ended up employing me for four years. And this other show went for five episodes and then was canned. So everything happens for a reason. I've been really lucky. And the same thing happened again. <laughs> did you guys see the Power Rangers reboot, like the movie? I got to audition for that and I was like, oh my god, I want this so bad. <laughs> because I was just like, I just figured it was going to be like a Hunger Games type, like I thought it was going to be huge. It didn't, it didn't end up being huge, it ended up tanking quite poorly at the box office, but then I didn't book that and then I booked Jenny in Georgia. So it, it all kind of evens out in the end. And it's also a lot of luck, which is tough to kind of like leave it up to chance, but I also think that like if you consistently work hard and you consistently seek out opportunities and you're kind, that's a big one. Because people want to work with good people. Um, that, I mean, the more good you put out, the more good you're gonna pull in. And that so happens in the business world too. You really want a job, you know, and it's down to two candidates. You know, flip the coin, yeah, you lost. You know, and, and it's hard, but you, you bounce back and you, you know that you have the talent because you got that far and uh, just keep going. Same with schools. I auditioned, or um, what do you call it, uh, applied to different schools, U.S. schools, everything. So I had enough um, rejection letters that I, I wallpapered my bedroom with all my rejection letters, you know. And I said, this is weird. I'm really going to go into a, you know, this is either going to motivate me or I'm going to go into a big depression. <laughs> yeah.